Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll see some of the keywords that is alias, wildcards, between, in, top. So these are the different keywords that we'll be seeing today. Uh, let's start with alias. What this alias does is if you do not want to have your uh, table name written in the queries all the time, you, you set a uh, alias name. To the table so alias name can be set to the table or a column let's see how to do that first we'll say select star from so now we are setting the alias name for the table so let's take two the two tables that we have here in the schema contacts and score so that would be contacts okay and uh, what you want to set from contacts as you want to set contacts as C and then you want to set the school uh, as S okay so this is one you to set how do you know whether this has been set now let's just add a where class say where C dot uh, I know the column name of the C is F name is equal to the school uh, of the F name. If these two are equal, then give me retrieve the information of the tables. Execute the query. Now you see all that columns have been executed wherever the first names are equal to the first names of the school. Okay, so whenever you set uh, the alias name, you should use the keyword as. So use the keyword as to set it for the tables or the columns. So here we have saved uh, not to write contacts dot first name school dot first name we just aliased as C and S and use the same C dot F name and S dot F name. Now let's see how to alias the column. Let us select okay F name as F from contacts table okay and then execute. Now see, we have seen F. Okay, even the column name has been changed to F for the alias. So this is how you uh, set the alias name. So however you set it for the table or column, use the keyword as. Okay, and the next keyword that we'll be discussing is uh, in or between. So what does in or between is? In is if you want to specify some multiple values, what are these multiple values and bring me this information then you would use in and to set any range uh, like select from the ID 1 to 10 I want this range uh, and then get only the information from that particular range then use between let's see let's see what are the columns that we have here in school we have SID grade school name first name and last name now let us retrieve the information in between 1 and 4 how do I do that? Say okay from school where what is the column name that you want to filter? SID and use the keyword between what range? One and four. Okay. So one and four. So what it says select all the columns from the table school where the column name SID uh, is between uh, the values 1 and the value 4. 1 and 4. That is between. Okay, and now if you want to see in, select star from star from school where the column is uh, SID and I would say instead of between, I would use the word in. In what? In 1 and in 2. So what it does, it retrieves me only the information that is in uh, 1 and 2. So this is select all the columns from the table school where the column name SID A has, in is has 1 and 2. So it will retrieve 1 and 2. So between is always the range and in is always what it contains. So these are two separate keywords. Okay, and then next would be the wild cards. Wild cards is like uh, if you want to use in any search. So mostly it is used for searches. Like if you want to search for anything that starts with G 
or that contains some letters or so that contains some characters so these are different wild cards that we use so to do you the wild card um, it's a combination of wild card we mostly use with like as another keyword so if you want some any sort of any particular pattern then uh, we'll use the wild card for that particular pattern and then uh, use the keyword like like instance this is a wild card and like as a keyword so these are two separate okay now we want to say select star from school where uh, where okay sid like not sid let's just say that f name like uh, what is it starts with a and present type and then execute you see it starts with a so what this does exactly is it says select all the columns from the table school where the column name that is the first name is like starts with the character a and after a it can have any other character so this is just like a wild card it can have any character like from b to z it can have any characters in between a and percent i so this is how you use the keyword like and this now you can use it the another way as well that would be this instead of this if you want to say this uh, execute you see see so this is any value in the first name column that ends with an a it retrieves the information of all the columns so this is how we use uh, all these different uh, keywords and the last keyword would be top the top keyword is not supported in all the databases so this top is mainly used like if you want to specify any number of records to return so this would be mostly useful if you have thousand more records so then this would be more useful so as we said this won't be supported in all and it has different syntaxes like for sql server it has different syntax mysql has different syntax oracle has different syntax now let's see in mysql to the example let's say select star from school okay and then where uh, instead of where or in, even if you have any clause, uh, you can say, okay, let's see, say this one. Okay. Select start from school where SID between 1 and 4. Now it addresses me the information of 4. But I want to limit it to only 2. I don't want all these records. I would say limit it to 2. So it limits only to 2. If you say limit it to 3. It will retrieve me three. Okay, so this is how you use uh, limit that is the top keyword. So in Oracle, it's different. In Oracle, we usually say can't execute here, but it usually like select star from the table name that is the school where, like, if you have any row number or uh, row number. And then greater than or equal to any number is 5. So this is how you specify an oracle. And then uh, in SQL Server, it would be like select star uh, from or uh, instead of select uh, top is the keyword that you use. And then any number or percentage. And then the column name that is F name from the table school. So these are two different ways of using the top, but we are using MySQL, so this is the way that you use the top that is limiting it. So this is the output. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Thank you.